Hello everybody, it's Ashwin Rao. And this video brings you a collaboration between renowned shoemaker Antonio Macariello and clothier Yosol. And this is the Yosol and Antonio Macariello Chucka boot. The collaboration between Yosol and Macariello no longer exists. But this is a shoe that I also have had my eye on for some time. Shelvedge, also known as David Levin and I, have struck up a friendship. And in several instances, he mentioned that this particular shoe was what got him initially excited about Antonio Macariello. The Eosol and Macariello chukka boot features a beautiful three eyelet chukka design. You can see those three eyelets here. One thing that's particularly unique about this shoe is the piping that you see along the edge of the facing that transitions into the shoe's collar and top edge. There's also some beautiful stitch detail that you can see, I'm gonna to try to bring that in closer for you, that allows the shoe to have more detail and attention drawn to that facing and collar. Before I go on further, I will say that the shoe was polished using a cleaner and conditioner from Pure Polish Products, along with their cream and wax polishes, as well as a little bit of high shine polish on the tip of the shoes. So if you're interested in getting the most out of your shoes, I would think a little bit about cleaning, conditioning, waxing, and polishing your own shoes to do that. Moving to the back seam, there's a single seam that adorns the back of the shoe. There's not really a heel counter here. It's just a seam. This shoe is essentially made from three pieces of leather. One for each side panel and one for the shoe's vamp and uh, tongue. The shoe is made using a last that appears to be a slightly asymmetric round-toed almond-shaped last. The toe has a very slight chisel to it, but overall it's a fairly gentle chisel. And this is a nice, smart, casual style that's accentuated by the taup hatch grain, both in terms of color and the pattern of the grain. But I would consider this to be a more casual styling. The piping also adds to that casual style and the heel block, which is more of a block heel without any taper, does that so, as well. You can see some of the details that I'm gonna pull in here. One of those details is this beautiful offset between the shoe's waist and heel block, where there's a step off. That's a detail design that is often reserved for bespoke shoes. Again, drawing your attention to the piping done using the shoe, as well as the beautiful stitching along the edge here that allows it to give itself some more character. This has a double leather sole with a squared off edge to that uh, waist. You can see that squared off detail on the outer edge of the waist here as well. This has a very, very beautifully beveled waist. Although depending on how the hot light catches you, you might see that the bevel does raise up to a relatively gradual edge, though it's not a hard edge. You can see the heel block here, which is done with a slight curve along the inside of the heel block to add to that gentle bevel. Along the top of the heel, you can see some beautiful fudge detailing as well. You should definitely give Antonio a try if you haven't yet. He's an incredibly kind gentleman who will take your ideas and try to turn them into reality using his knowledge and skill in shoemaking. All the best to you, take care, have a great day.